Well, I figured I'm going to try to start plowing somewhere here. Should have came out yesterday. I didn't. They had rain in the forecast and it kept looking like rain, but we didn't get nothing until about 4 o'clock. So, basically wasted yesterday, but we didn't really get all that much rain. It rained pretty good there. I got to get myself a rain gauge so I know what we got. But, uh... And it's not all that bad out here. I mean, it's getting late today. It's about going on four o'clock again here by the time I got my running done today. And the ground's carrying good. I'm just, well, I'm trying to figure out here now. I can't remember how I plowed this field. I'm trying to figure out if I have a dead furrow. Usually I can pick them out because I don't usually get them filled in very good. So I don't know if I got to plow this field in or whether I got to plow it out. And I gotta walk over to that edge and see. I'm pretty sure this is gonna be plowed out. Because that next field over, this upper half I know plows in. The bottom half of that plows in. And then I got a strip in the middle where I'd plow out a dead furrow. And I'm pretty sure that this would be, since that one's gonna be plowed in, and this one's gonna end up being plowed out, plowed out, and I should have a, end up with a dead furrow in this field. I really don't see nothing that indicates it. It does kind of look a little bit low, like a dip in here. But I'm not 100% sure. But then again, I walk through this. And I kind of got water set in here. And I really don't want to start, I'm going to strike a dead throw right in that spot. If I can get it struck out, it shouldn't be a problem. The hardest, first pass is usually the hardest. You get that furrow opened up. Because I guarantee six, six, eight inches down, it's going to be drier. In our spot, this is where I got stuck last year spreading manure in this field. Got a silage wagon stuck in this area here a couple years ago, too. So there's another reason why I'm a little bit leery about trying to start this when it, it's plowed after it rained. What I should see here, that edge that mustard, or whatever that plant is, I think it's mustard. Doesn't look like there's a half part of a furrow here either. does right here. I'm almost certain this needs to be plowed out. Which almost makes sense, I'd say. But I think I'm going to go strip, strike that other strip out. Out of these fields, that upper half of that field is usually the fairly driest. So I should be able to get... Like I say, if I get struck out, I can at least get that upper half of that field plowed. Maybe I can get this struck out. Because they still have rain now for the next three days, but Tuesday's supposed to be dry. So, half dozen, one dozen, and other, I guess. If I can pull it through, I guess I go through. I'm gonna go over to that other strip. And I say this field here looks a little bit better. Well, I'm sure it's gonna show up on camera, but if you look right through here, it's gonna look like more because this is where I have had a tractor tire when I was spreading manure on this. But in this area right here is a little bit of a swale and that's from plow to dead furrow. So when the last passes when you're plowing it out, you always, this is where rollover plows make good because I just go up, flip the plows over, come back and you end up with one furrow on one side. You don't have these dead furrows. And like I say, they're always hard to fill in, but it makes it easier to find, figure out where you need to start. So like I say, a, plow this one in. I know where the dead furrow is down there, but because of that rain, I am a little leery going down there because there is a wet hole like halfway up right right to this side of where I'm going to have to rip through. I could probably make four or five passes, then I'll be in that wet spot. And I don't know how bad I'll be. Today might be better than any other day. 
Maybe I'll end up down there yet. But this is dead for here. And like I said, I might plow that one yet. If I go to that end of the field, I might be able to see where the dead furrow is better. But I'm almost certain that one is going to have to be plowed out. All I can do is try it. Worst that happens, I get stuck. I guess. Which is a good chance. And my tires are seeing their better days on this side, anyhow. But I might get lined up here and see what I can do. I'll see what it does here. I'm going to start out a gear slower than I normally pull. I'll be in third gear until I make a couple rounds, see how it goes. And get a little more control because that's one problem too when you start opening up. This front furrow is going to want to roll further because you, sometimes you're only taking a little bit of a sliver instead of the normal depth because it's one problem with uh, some amount of plows. You don't have the adjustment to adjust for your furrow cuts. So like right now I would level out the plows different to make this cut. And then the next pass I'd put my lever to tilt them plows because the tractor's leaning but you still want the plows straight level so we'll see what it does here Get the plows down should suck it and start going problems there at the start. One is because I kind of forgot I got to keep that back bottom up a little bit higher at the start too. So that one was hooked a little bit more. Plus like I say it's greasy. I had to hit the positive traction to get it to grip to go. As like I say my worst tire is the one that's doing the pulling. So it's kind of hit or miss. But like I said, once I get this next one struck out, I'll be on solid ground and I should be able to pull fairly good. But I'm going to go at this because I know this next pass I'm going to have to work the lever. I have to have both hands for that. i got to get myself a magnetic mount or something so I can mount the camera and, or my phone. So I'll be able to watch. I'll be able to do three things at once. But I'm going to get going on this and see how it turns out. Anything exciting that happens, I'll be back. Yeah, I thought I'd just take a quick stop here and double check how things are rolling. Definitely not the best conditions to be going. 
it's not plowing up too bad. And because of the grass and the roots there, it's going to turn over slabby like this. But it ain't the worst. But uh, it's definitely not in good conditions. I got to pull that hill up that side with the positive traction locked in and still having some issues. And anyway, what are you going to do? It's wet grass. I got manure on it. It makes it greasy. It's damp. But like I say, how much? I'm screwed off enough time, so how much more do I waste? Now, maybe I shouldn't be doing this. My dad used to always say, you never start anything on a Friday, you'll never get done. Which, I must have been born on a Friday because I never get nothing done. But uh, maybe that won't count because Wednesday when I pulled them plows out, I didn't get them lifted up all the way where I had them parked. And I started plowing a furrow out where they were setting. And I hooked into the berm of the road and took a chunk out of the road. So technically I already started plowing. But this is why I got to get that uh, coulter disc fixed. You can see how jagged it is. You can see it's up there. It's flipping dirt up. Like right there. Because it's just ripping through where the bees here cuts that cuts it into a ribbon. Slices the furrow sidewall nice. And then so the mole board can get it and roll it. Where this one was doing that. Okay, if this was corn ground, probably wouldn't be much of an issue, but grass does it like that. So hopefully, well, depending on what the weather does tomorrow, if I decide to plow or not. But I think tomorrow I'm going to go, i got to get, they say, gas for my torch so I can burn that old weld out and get that in there and get that mounted back on there. So... We'll plug away here. I can at least plow this over to yeah, right here is the edge of this field, so I can plow this much yet. Again, I'm a little more worried in this field about how it's going to go. But I might make make a few passes, open it up or whatever, see what happens. But I'm going to at least plow this chunk. Hopefully I can come across, I gotta come across a tire for this thing, that's... That tire's just too far gone to be useful. This one's a better shape because this one's been replaced already. But I'm gonna get back at it. Yeah, still playing away at it here. I ain't pushing it hard. I'm still plowing a little slower than I normally plow. Because it is plowing kind of hard. Still got to hit the positive traction in some areas.
run much longer here. Got it. Move some hay for the cows yet. Yeah, what I saw in the weather forecast. It's supposed to be like mid-afternoon when we might see some rain tomorrow, so. I gotta push it for tonight. I'll come out in the morning. At least finish plowing this chunk. Whether I move it anywhere else. And this problem right here. Gotta stop and back up because my positive traction didn't kick out. Once you start getting. Once the traction normalizes, it, it'll kick out automatically. It's just the, uh, you know, where is it? That pedal right there on the floor. You start spinning, just hit that down with your heel, and if you are spinning, it'll lock them together, and you can just take your foot off of it. And then when once traction is somewhat restored or eases up, it'll kick out. Well. The last two passes it didn't kick out in that area, so... And you can't turn with your rear wheels locked together. So all it wants to do is just keep pulling forward. You can't turn, so you have to stop, back up, so it takes the pressure off whatever's locked together in there, and it'll kick out. how well this side is plowing. It's rolling over a little bit better and I haven't hit the positive traction over here yet. I think part of it is because I didn't spread manure on it this spring. I just had manure last fall. So I ain't hitting them shit clumps and spinning out on them. I'm going to end it here for tonight. Got a fairly good start. I'm I got to push it because of the way the weather's going to be. And it's not plowing the best, so. But it's getting turned over. But like I said, I got some other stuff I got to go get done, and we'll worry about this tomorrow. So. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch up with you later.